What is vaginal steaming? Is it safe? How can this support my fertility? Let's take a deep dive into this and have some fun while doing it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe and tap the notification bell for my updated content. My name is Coach Natalie. I'm a Christian fertility coach, empowering, encouraging, and educating you in God's word for your fertility journey. I am super excited and passionate about today's subject of vaginal steaming. I believe it was the key contributor to my fertility success at 42 years old. After my IVF failed, as I mentioned in my story in a previous video, I had no other choice but to resort to holistic methods when I could not finance assisted help. I didn't know at the time that by me having a failed treatment was the biggest blessing God could ever give me in being able to share this valuable content with you today. I love reality TV. Let's take a look at a short clip of twins Tia and Tamara going for their first vaginal steam. I will break down what happened in the video while explaining what vaginal steaming is all about. It smells so good, Tia. Hey, you're welcome to take care Thank, Thank you. you. So I had made appointments for my sister and I to get some treatments done. So you're anyway. here for a V-steam? Yeah, okay. are you fine with facials? Because that's what the V-steam is, right? No. Tia asked in the clip, what is a V-steam? V-steam, vaginal steam, yoni steam, chayak, vajayshu, bahu, etc. are all the same culturally known by several different names, which I find very interesting in itself. It's where you steam your private area. What? Yes. Your butt? Tamara, wait. <laughs> Tamara seems completely clueless about what vaginal steaming is. While practiced around the world, V-steaming remained largely unknown in the United States. That is until Goop founder Gwyneth Paltrow put her stamp of approval on the treatment. So let me explain. I'm the owner of the spa. Hi. Okay. Hi. Um, what we're going to be doing is it's actually a steamer for your vagina. Did she just say vagina? <laughs> oh my God. The owner explains how vaginal steaming is done. Vaginal steaming is performed initially vaginally but permeates to the uterus, popularly coined today as pelvic steaming. I know how to clean my vajayjay perfectly fine. Tamara states vaginal steaming isn't necessary. It's true, the vagina is self-cleaning, but the uterus isn't. For some women, the uterus can be the source for cysts, toxin buildup, etc. This particular owner is of Korean heritage. Although vaginal steaming has its roots globally in places such as Africa, Asia, Central America, my birthplace Belize, India, etc., and is popular today in a lot of African American salons, the Korean community initially dominated this very unique treatment. This treatment is really great for helping you balance your hormones. It's great for oh. detoxification. It helps with circulation in your body. Huh. I have treatment. a question. Yes. The sex after having a baby is dry. We have some clients who say that after they have the V-steam, their husbands can't stay away from them because it actually, oh. it actually makes them very hot down there. Really? Oh. Yes. Do you get aroused while you're doing this? We've had some women. Who, I've never been aroused because of the V-steam, but so it helps more with an orgasm? For some women. So are you guys ready for your treatment? The owner explains the benefits of vaginal steaming. Vaginal steaming has a plethora of benefits. In addition to those mentioned, it regulates, restores the menstrual cycle, relieves cramping, helps with endometriosis, fibroids, insomnia, hot flashes, is a de-stressor, and my favorite benefit, detoxifying the uterus for fertility, and much, much more. I feel so pretty. I feel like a Korean princess. So uh, this is our bee steam. We have specially formulated herbs that come into here. You have herbs that go up the JJ. Yes. This is so weird. Sit down. This is so weird. I'm sorry. I know this just doesn't feel right. No, 
it's going to be really relaxing. And then uh, your feet is here, right under the, uh, the towels. You're it's just the initial, yeah. like, it's just the like idea of being exposed. Well, no one's seeing anything. The herbs are. <laughs> the <chair is> seeing <laughs> if herbs could talk. <laughs> The owner explains how vaginal steaming is done. The V-steaming procedure typically consists of sitting over medicinal herbal infused steaming water. Let's toast to clean to the clean JJs. At least our husband will appreciate, husband will appreciate it. it. I say we don't tell them anything and see if they feel a difference. Well, anyway. I need to turn mine down a little bit. This is too high. I think I just did it too high. <laughs> <laughs> well, get up! I'm get up! Whoa! Whoa! Yes. on fire! We had smoke! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Tamara tells Tia she's on fire. Vaginal steaming is not advised to be done at home initially as spas have special chairs to allow the steam to reach the private area while avoiding burns. I have a funny story to share. Well, when I first learned about vaginal steaming, I performed it in my bathroom, which I later learned was not the most sanitary way. And um, I could have severely gotten burned, but by the grace of God, not only did I not get burned, but I had a successful outcome. If you not only would like a cleanse for your body, but needing a cleanse for your soul. 1 John 1, 7 says, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. If you would like to learn more about how vaginal steaming can support your fertility, and or you would like to get coaching services, Please see my contact information in the description below. And if you found this video inspiring today, please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you on the next one. This is the product I am reviewing. It is basically a skincare product. And so I'm just, uh, first of all, just reviewing the packaging. The packaging is very, very professional by a friend of mine and she asked me to do this product review it says on the cover it says a touch of secret experience the magic very nice cover we have these four samples here and what i will be doing is i will be trying each of these on the back of my hand and just to see how each of these feel so i will start with this one was already open, so I will start with this, and this is the Mineral Rich Peeling Gel. So I will take this out here. And so, okay, I'm taking off the, the tape here, and I'm just gonna put some on my finger. Okay, and it has a little glitter. And I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand here and it feels yep it has a little bit of um, exfoliant in it and you can see the consistency of it so yeah kind of um has some kind of like substance in it okay it's not like a clear it's not like a gel gel but it has like some consistency in it so that's that one and then i will do a take another sample oh and it has a really really nice smell too i would like to add so now i'm going to try the mineral rich magnetic mud mask so very easy to open the sample uh, it has already has like a perforation there so i'm squeezing out this one here, this is the, as I said, the mineral mud mask, okay? 
and I am putting this on the back of my pan here and I'm just, just doing it in circular motions and um, mm, has a very um, interesting smell. It's not anything floral, but it does have a kind of a, a mud type of a smell kind of, but it feels very nice, a very nice um, consistency, I'd say. Very different, very different smell. I see there are two ways, two perforations. I just want a little sample. So I'm just, just taking a little bit out of it. But anyway, okay, smelling it. it has a nice smell. We'll start off with that. And I am taking it out of the packaging. So I think I'm gonna have to actually pull maybe a whole finger in there to get this one out. Um, okay. So this is what it looks like on my finger. And then on the back of my hand, this is how it looks. Okay. So this one is quite dry. It's not much uh, moisture in this one, but I guess that's what it's for. Okay, so this is the salt and oil scrub. Okay, so we already did three out of the four. Body butter, as you can see. And we're gonna just um, tear the perforation open. And okay, mm, it's a white white um, color, see the color? And we're gonna just put it on the back of the hand and rub it. Um, this feels very, very nice. It has a very nice light smell. And so this is, this is, I think this is one probably, one of my favorites probably out of the four. But yeah, it just has that nice smooth consistency to you know spread very well spell, spread evenly so that will conclude my demonstration you would like to contact the creator of this uh, i will have her contact information below so thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day